Well guys, we just got to the farm here. We're gonna head out here and we're gonna hang a stand. We're gonna try to shoot a doe tonight. We'll bring you guys along. Let's go hang this tree stand. I think we're about ready to head out. Got my sneakers. Look at my pocket. Let's go. Okay, I think we found a tree. This one right here, it's marked like it's gonna get cut down, but it looks pretty solid. And it's pretty straight. And there's a lot of like branches and stuff like that around it. That help me blend in more. Hopefully the deer won't see me, so I'm gonna go grab my stuff and we're gonna start getting the stand set up. One thing I've started to do lately is I bought this very cheap bow case for my bow and it just keeps it from banging into stuff and scratching it up and it just keeps my bow nicer and if I'm carrying it like I said um, tree stand stuff or other stuff it doesn't hit it and make noises so I'm pretty happy with that thing I've been using it quite a bit lately see where this dough was. So I shot her around 30, 34 yards. I think it was somewhere in there. I used my 30 yard pin. So I think it was somewhere right in here. So I don't know if you can see the tree stand up there behind me. I think we're right here about 30 yards. Oh, right there. Look at this arrow.
absolutely smoked her. That thing is bloody red. About can't see the green light or not. Oh, there. Man, it's been a while since I've seen blood like this. Those dead meat brought in absolutely destroyed deer. She was plowing dirt the whole way out here. She did not go far. It's a big deal, real big deal. Well guys, I will have to say, the dead meat definitely proved itself again. They're made by G5. I have shot Rage for years, Expandables, the Hypodermic, and I've had a lot of good luck with them. They've made plenty of good blood trails. But what this, I mean this bow and this dead meat rawhead working together, I mean they just blew her shoulder out. I mean I can see bone and she couldn't run. I mean, you can see, as you can see in the video, she just took off and it was, her shoulders were down in the front. She couldn't run. So that's what you want. You want to kill them quick. That way there's no, uh, they don't have to suffer. And yeah, so I'm pretty pumped. I'm pretty happy with how the broadhead did and how the bow did. Pretty happy. So phase four Matthews did it again. So I just want to talk about how I gut deer here a little bit. Um, I have a Ziploc bag where I keep gloves that reach my shoulders and latex gloves. Um, and, and I'll show you how I use those here in a minute. And then I have this knife. It's not a Havilon, but it does the trick. Um, I bought it off of Amazon. It's like 30 bucks maybe or something. And it's got the changeable blades. I like using the ones that have the changeable blades. Um, that way I can take the blade off, not worry about having to sharpen my knife. And it cleans a lot easier. Um, so I'm gonna get started gutting this dough um, I'll show you how these, this works Very affordable. I think I paid like I bought a huge pack of them. So I think what I have here in this bag might be a dollar worth of gloves Maybe not even that So what I do is I put this on and then you see the the hand part is pretty sloppy and big and I don't want to get in the way of my knife, so I throw a pair of latex over top. Sometimes they tear. Make sure I open this up right. I must be getting a fat hand. There we go. That'll do. Do the same with this one. And the reason I like using these shoulders, that they reach my shoulders, is I can reach up and get the heart and not worry about my hunting clothes getting dirty. That way I could go hunting tomorrow morning or in the evening again. And I don't have to worry about my hunting clothes being all bloody and I have to wash them again. So There you go. Okay, we're going to get started. No professional, but I have done this before. Well guys, I just got back from the butcher shop dropping the deer off. That deer's actually going to my grandparents, so um, took it up there, dropped it off for them so they get butchered and have some meat for them this year. I was pretty happy with how the hunt turned out. I got in there and got set up and deer came out soon after I got set up and uh, shot her and she didn't run far. And just drove out there and picked her up in the field as good as it could go other than that I lost or I forgot to grab my SD card. So. Um, Hopefully the video will turn out good. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it and uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll have some more coming soon.